Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jonathan Rowden with GPU Audio, uh, Chief Business Officer over here, um, aka I like to make products happen with people. Um, anyways, I'm the one running the Discord and everything, so if you hate me, uh, now you can put a voice uh, to the hatred. Just kidding. Anyways, we love you guys um, for testing out this early access product. We're super excited that you're joining the community, dropping in, leaving your comments, sharing your crash reports and stuff like that. Um, just before we get started here, you know, um, the whole purpose of this early access program really is for us to test GPU audio and make sure that it, quote, just simply works, you know, across as many machines and configurations as possible of CPU and GPU. Um, just it's it's still important to note that right now during early access, um, we're just supporting NVIDIA um, graphics cards from like the 10 series up, like a 1060, 1070, 1080 um, all the way up until the most current models and like the 3090s and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to have a super high-end graphics card. It just has to be an NVIDIA of one of those, you know, generations of the last few years. Uh, the second thing is that we're only supporting Windows right now. If you've been part of the Discord or you've checked out um, our early access webpage to download this plugin, you will know that we have a strong roadmap ahead. Um, we have a whole beta suite of production plugins coming in about two months. We have an SDK for developers, lots of cool stuff coming up. Uh, but we had to start somewhere in order just to test performance, so we thank you guys again for being part of this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to briefly set up a session in Reaper, because a lot of you are probably new to Reaper. Um, I like testing in Reaper. I've tested in Ableton, and I've tested in a couple other programs uh, with success, but Reaper seems to be the most stable right now, so I'm having the most fun with it. Uh, when it comes to actually using this uh, FIR plugin. So one important thing to note is that I've actually installed some custom um, impulse responses. Now, if I go to my name here, or uh, if I go to, excuse me, um, my PC, and then I double click local disk, go to program files, go to common files, go to VST3, GPU audio, this is where I'm gonna find my impulse responses installed. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've actually replaced all of the files in here with new files. Um, some of them are binaural, which is really cool. Some of them are um, from a pack that I got for free uh, from a university website. We're going to make a lot of these different impulse responses available for you guys to play with. It's going to be a lot of fun to kind of swap them in and out. And I'll make a separate video showing you how to do that so you don't lose track of um, all of your IRs that you have. So once I'm in... I open up a file in Reaper. All you have to do is right click to add a new track. Um, I've already created a couple tracks here that you can see. Um, I've grabbed some samples from my desktop. I just dragged them straight in the same way you would with any other DAW. And then from there, I just you know double check my settings. You go to options, go down to preferences. I can show you that I'm using 48,000 on my sample rate. Block size is 256. Um, this is all under audio devices. If I go to buffering, I also have this set at 96 threads. Uh, which is the ideal for this plugin. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and listen to one of these samples that I dropped in. This one's called Lo-Fi Moment, and it's a actually a tape loop that I created. Let's see. That's pretty cool. I needed some peace and quiet this week after all the news in the world. Um, so this kind of felt like a fitting one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click FX. Okay. I'm going to scroll up to Brain Gins. This is where the plugin is housed. This is our original uh, developer company name. I'm going to go to GPU Audio FIR Convolver, double click, and I've got it in. So let's set mix to zero. Let's just pick like a random impulse response, maybe number five. And let's start from here and we'll slowly mix it in. Cool. So as you can see, it's just super simple. Mix knob, dry, wet, add your own impulse responses. It's just here to test performance and, uh, you know, make some music at the same time. 
So I like the sound of that. Maybe let's try it on a different sample, just get a kind of a different feel. So this sample here is something totally different. Let's turn off the plugin. This is for my Prophet 10. Let's duplicate that once. Let's start from the beginning. Let's turn on our reverb here. that one cool so another really subtle little loop there running so what I'm gonna do is show you guys real quick how to do a little stress test if you wanted to try something like that so all you have to do is duplicate your tracks what you're gonna to want to do is gain down your audio though I'm gonna do it right here uh, because of my streaming plugin that I have for OBS I'm gonna to have to gain it down here instead but you can see if I duplicate these tracks let's just see if we have any um, you know dropouts or any added latency going let's uh you know let's just run like 16 convolutions and see what that sounds like for now you're gonna see my volumes getting super low great so so far so good let's go ahead and duplicate those let's add 32 convolutions. Let's see if there's any latency here. So far so good. So you guys can see how I'm just kind of doing this stress test. I can keep going. I can just add some more, duplicate again. Now I'm up to 64 different tracks. That's 128 channels of audio total. Um, the minute I press play, should still be having no extra latency here. Same thing. So hopefully you guys can see uh, just a little bit of proof of concept here, you know, that it is working on my setup. Um, I'm using Windows 10. I'm using Reaper 6.36. And uh, yeah, interested to see what systems you guys are using and how it's working for you. Obviously, you're probably not going to be using 64, you know, stereo tracks of convolution reverb. This is just total overkill and not creative at all. Um, but I think, you know, it's it again, it's there to test performance. Add this in with your favorite sessions. We would love to see, you know, if it's working for you, first of all, just as it is. And then second, if it's working within a session where you're running um, other plugins at the same time. That's what I'm going to be doing all night is kind of running it as I would in a standard uh, workflow. And yeah, we'll be posting notes to the Discord. Uh, stay tuned over the next few days too. I'm going to be adding some impulse responses to the Discord channel for you guys to check out and eventually the website as well um, for you to have some fun with. So there you go. Hope that helps and uh, enjoy yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.